Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker, Madam Speaker. In 1994, the people of South Africa, through their votes, chose freedom over tyranny. They chose a multi-party democracy over illegitimate minority rule. And they chose, most importantly, a constitutional order over an unjust security state disorder. And perhaps even more importantly, they chose executive accountability over executive sovereignty. The framers of our constitution gave this mandate expression by entrenching this parliament as the arena of executive accountability. And so the question we must all ask ourselves today in this house is simply this. Are we living up to their expectations? In 1994, the people of South Africa chose an accountable police service over a police force. Far too many of our citizens and many members in this chamber remember with revulsion how the South African police force were used as an instrument by the illegitimate apartheid regime to suppress political opponents, stifle ideas, and stamp out freedom. It's inconceivable then that this opposition was required to go to the courts of this land to stop the presiding officers of this house from setting the police on them, in direct violation of the powers and privileges of members of parliament and the separation of powers. One of the most fundamental parts of our jobs as members of parliament is to hold the president and members of the executive to account. It would be a sad day for this democracy if the presiding officers were allowed to have members arrested and removed from this house by the SAPS for fulfilling our constitutional responsibility. However much the executive may not like the message or how it is delivered, the speaker opposed that case in court and the speaker lost. In 1994, the people of South Africa chose a constitution that guaranteed every citizen the right to freedom of speech. They did this precisely to ensure that never again in this beautiful land of ours would the ability to share ideas or views be inhibited by fear or state control. But perhaps more importantly, they entrenched this important right in our parliament precisely to ensure that the representatives that the people of South Africa sent to this house to represent them would never again be afraid to say what needed to be said to this house for fear of reprisal. The ANC fought, suffered, struggled and sacrificed much during the struggle for freedom of democracy. And so we must ask you then, why do you remain silent and are now actively complicit in the trampling of that freedom that you fought for. What you don't realize is that every single time that you do this, you weaken your own rights and betray the mandate of the people that sent you to this house to speak up for them on their behalf. Now, now can you imagine a future, and judging by the way things are going now, it won't be long, when you sit on the opposition benches would you accept the type of suppression and tyranny being visited on you by the presiding officers of this house? I doubt it.